Are we ready? Oh my god, this is so beautiful. Wow. This really is something. So this this is how Natibas are born. They're more organic than we are. <laughs> Whoa. Did it fail? Probably. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I wonder what Lily will say about this. Lily, I hope you will be on my side, whatever, whatever we do. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this place, it's too quiet, but it's strangely peaceful. So they don't survive. The Elder must already know that we're here. It's watching us. But from where, I don't know. Adam, where are you? Whatever is going on here. This always seemed like his suppressed guilt. It's like someone wants this place to remain undisturbed. Where even was this place? Was it the, at the Great Desert? <laughs> oh, we got a camp! Oh gosh. I think this is it, Lily. This is it. The music here is also very nice. Should we eat something before? Or is it just... For visuals? <laughs> Where's our music? Oh, there it is. Raven probably set it up. I suspect it hasn't been used since she met the Elder, and changed. Thank goodness it's working. Yes. I'm also getting the feeling that it's our last camp. Oh my gosh. You guys. I can feel my body is nervous. <laughs> What will we witness? Like, we could be taken totally off guard as well. Like, it could be something that I haven't even thought about. And that would be fine. Mother Sphere wouldn't be here, right? Wow. The music is epic. <laughs> the music sounds like that of You Will Know the Truth. <gasps> Whoa. Maybe that's connected to the Elder or something. Oh, wow. Oh, 
This looks like an arena to I me. Can see it. The end of my journey. the one in space with the wings oh, my beautiful I know this is a disappointment I'm sorry Eve everything that has happened until now and even before it began with me I am the source of it all are you Adam or would you prefer I call you elder what are you scheming? You pretended to rescue me. Pretended to help me on my mission. All under the guise of helping Zion. What are you really after? I want atonement. I want forgiveness. I want us to heal. Please know that everything I have done, I have done sincerely. Enough of this nonsense! My comrades, the people of Zion who trusted you, tell me why they had to die! Eve, you... You have every right to be mad, I understand. Please explain! Elder Natiba, you... Please, listen to me, Eve. Listen First. to Topless Adam. I'm sorry for what happened between you and Raven. In the end, she had her own motives, and that way she was a lot like Oracle. As you've discovered, you were created by the surviving humans to look and act like them. And us, we're nothing but monsters. Right from the start, we struggled to coexist. Of course we did. Because we Natibas were weak. We were not yet mature enough to fully accept your kind. This foolishness resulted in tragedy. In the end, we gave up our humanity in order to survive. Earth is too small for both our species to coexist. However, even if all the Natibas disappear, it's impossible for your kind to succeed the human race. After all, you were created entirely from scratch, with no human DNA at all. And what is it you're going to do? You think you're the one to end this? Gruesome slaughter. Yes. I've been researching for decades to find a way. A way for us all to become the inheritors of the human race. An Andro Eidos, with the most advanced unisonous hyperbody ever seen, and the ultimate Natiba that has not succumbed to its hostile instincts. These are the two necessary ingredients. So, Adam and Eve? Yes. You and I. We are what is needed. Weird way to propose, Eve. but yes. <laughs> I offer you one last deal. Wait, what? Let us become whole. One being. A single, evolved human species. If we fuse together, we can truly become the seeds of a new human race. Wait, wait, what? 
that's insane. <laughs> There's no point in listening to this, Eve. At Hang this on, rate, Lily. Mother Sphere will do the same thing over and over again. I wouldn't be surprised if she even destroyed the colony, and thereby Earth. As you know, she will not stop. But this is not the path that humans should take. But there's no proof that this fusion is the right path to take. Especially considering everything you've done. You're right, Lily. However, my wish to save the new humans and surviving humans was... is... sincere. As unbelievable as it may be. I believe him. He has always been sincere, though, so... Or I'm a fool. Lily, take this. But Gosh, he's so this beautiful. Is... Oh. This is the last hypercell needed to rebuild Zion. Zion can be saved no matter what choice Eve makes. It choice? would mean so much if you could do this for me. Eve, your mission is to eliminate me. If you fuse with me, the Elder Natiba, as you know it, will cease to exist. Forever. Is there any better way to complete your mission? Eve. Take my hand. I can save you. Oh my gosh. We can save each other. We can save everyone. Oh my gosh. Eve, are you gonna do it? If the choice is up to me- <gasps> Take Adam's hand or do not take Adam's hand? Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> I am so nervous, like I'm, I'm, I'm shaking if you see my hand. gosh what is the right decision if we fuse with adam he just said that the elder Nitiba will cease to exist which means our husband will no longer be so we fuse with adam And there was something he said, that he is the one who, who started it all. Adam is the one to... Is he Raphael Marx? Am I tripping? Is he? What will... What will Lily say about this? She will be on our side either way, won't she? Yeah. She will definitely be on our side. Um, I think. What if she doesn't? I don't want to lose Lily. But then again, if I take Adam's hand... If I don't take Adam's hand, we probably have to fight him anyway, so... If I take Adam's hand, we fuse together, become one, and I won't see his beautiful face again. Or what if Eve gets two heads, like Adam head and an Eve head? And this entire freaking scene, he was so freaking beautiful, I... I had to focus a lot. I didn't assume we would get topless Adam. I'm so weak. Like I'm I'm going to take his hand.
I I am. You guys, you can't judge me all you want, but if Eve would have been in Adam's place, John would have taken her hand. So. <laughs> oh my gosh. This, I, I think this is the right thing to do. I think this is the right thing to do. We go after Mother's Fear. Adam has not been a bad person, ever. He have withheld information from us. But he never heard us. He was always there for us. And this is for humanity. As it is right now. <gasps> Lily. I hope you forgive me for this. I hope we're still sisters. Because I'm gonna be taking Adam's hand. In marriage. <laughs> I mean, to fuse. <laughs> to fuse. I mean, of course, Raven became batshit crazy and jealous. Like, look at him. <laughs> and all because you've got chosen. I mean, Raven, I understand you. I understand you, girl. Like, please, can she also become sane? And we could just be a girls team. Like, please. <laughs> Sequel, anyone? <laughs> Why am I hesitating so much? I already know I'm gonna take Adam's hand. Do I? Lily is the only one now in my, in my mind that could stop me. And she's hesitating. But I feel like the good thing to do is fuse with Adam. But then I won't see him anymore. But then I don't want to fight him. Because that's what's going to happen if we don't take his hand, right? He's not the enemy. He is not the enemy. I just, please, don't let anything happen to Lily, or else I'm gonna regret this de decision. She's the only one who can stop me. I think we're gonna go. We're gonna take the hand that is offered to us. Can we like have a romantic scene while we're at it? Oh my god, he's so gorgeous! Like... Our existence is to eliminate the elder Naitiba and save mankind. Naitiba or Andro Ados is one more human than the other. Oh my gosh. If an entire species is wiped out so that another may remain, can we really call that salvation? Exactly. But. but Lily, please. If there is a way to save both species, I want to follow that path to the end. That's all I want. Yes, so do I. We're like mirrors to each other. Your choice may not bring about peace and stability right away, but our union will create the greatest chance for a peaceful future. Oh my God. Now. 
I yes. thought we would get married first. Oh my gosh. Don't tell me he ceases to exist. in some way they get like separated and Adam is like whoa I'm still here <laughs> Lily are you fine please I don't see Adam oh whoa whoa Eve are you Eve? I hope, I hope so. Yes. Well, it's hard to describe, but... This is the so pretty! Really, I am the Eve you remember. I was worried that you Please had become someone I didn't know. Lily. What is? Connection what is... to the colony Sending protocol. Sensing strong Nativa signals nearby. Oh hell no! Switching to combat mode. Oh hell no! No! I don't want to fight Lily! Oh my gosh, I have a really bad feeling about this. Ah! The exosuit is moving by itself! You tried to stop it, Lily? It must be because the Elder disappeared. This is a combat command sent from the colony. Ah! Eve! Watch out! Mother Sphere! Oh my providence. Oh my gosh. New mission! You protocol! Oh my gosh. We got finished pretty darn quickly. It's okay, I have a VB pump. But somehow I'm just thinking that Lily might not survive this. So now I'm thinking, was that the right choice to make? This wouldn't have happened, right? Or maybe it would have. Even if I wouldn't have taken Adam's hand. Oh my god. Can I redo it just to check? I don't want to sacrifice Lily, you guys. I don't want to. Well, you guys, um, turning up here, we just entered the same battle. So... I can't not take Adam's hand. Oh gosh. Oh, I'm super worried for Lily. If she doesn't make it. I'm gonna have to redo this entire game. And not take Adam's hand. I think that taking his hand was the right thing to do, but losing Lily at the expense. Of... I don't know. She looked so happy too that Eve was still herself, and then getting trapped in this suit. No, she doesn't deserve this. Is there a way to save her? Did I... 
Maybe I messed something up before. Maybe this wouldn't have happened. Did I have other choices? I know I had one other choice. And that was when we found Lily. Adam asked us to help with Zion, right? I don't know. Oh gosh. And I thought we would get a happily ever after. Like, I, I was a robbed. I feel like I was a robbed of a romantic scene. It was kind of romantic using with Adam, but then he disappeared, so. And Adam doesn't have a memory stick. Even if we would create another Adam, it wouldn't be Adam. We still haven't met the last character. Maybe it is Mother Sphere. And it probably says in Adam's da dialogue that he could be Raphael Marx. I mean. It makes sense, you guys, because he knows so much. He knows so much, he's highly intelligent. And he's... He's basically a scientist. With everything he's told us, it makes sense. But if Orville and Raven were so alike in, in their nature, that means that Raven could also switch. Like she could switch up. Ouch. She doesn't. Orville turned out to be a good guy. Like he was against humans at first. Raven could have also turned. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, oh. Providence, you are quick and big. Oh my god, so pretty! We're gonna read. Character, and we have Adam. Ooh. Before Abel, okay. Uh, saying he got an urgent message. Yes, Raven's onslaught had destroyed Sion and his innocent lives were lost. However, Adam is nowhere to be seen. At the center of the nest, Adam tells Eve the truth that he is both Raphael Marx, the creator of Mother Sphere, and the elder, elder Naitiba, the creator of Naitibas. He has been watching Eve in order to continue humanity and build a new humankind. He reaches his hand out to Eve, saying that the two of them should work together for the sake of humanity's salvation. But yo, there's still a slot left! Oh my gosh. Oh. Raphael Marks and Adam. Same person. We got it. On paper now. Maybe he said it? 
Oh, but, uh, you know, I was distracted by his uh, handsomeness. Totally normal. But I didn't hear, hear him say that hi, I'm Rebel Marks. Didn't hear the name. But like I said, I could have been really. Oh, I'm getting messed up. <laughs> yes, girl! But also, no girl, because Lily. Raven had almost the same kind of slices like we had. But hers was different. Let's go, Tacky! Why can't I make you fall? Although this kind of stuns him. It's not doing anything. Ah! Oh gosh. Ooh. Oh, I'm screwed now. Ooh. I am so bad at shooting. I think they want me to shoot, but. <laughs> like, I don't even know what, what, what's it doing? Can I. Shoot the barriers? Maybe? Mm. Ah. I am so worried. Like, what's gonna happen to Lily? I can't do another choice. I, I just have to. I just have to have some some hope that she will. Be let out of this providence. Because Eve will do anything to get Lily out of this suit. She has to be able to get out of this suit. I'm gonna cry so freaking much if we lose Lily. That's our sister, guys. She's always been by our side, too. Ever since we found her. And same with Adam, but then again, we have Adam with us all the time. That makes me kind of be like... Ooh. It's like playing Final Fantasy VII. You know, when Aerith is gone, but she like continues to stay with, with Cloud. This is kind of like the same. <laughs> kind of like the same. His presence is with us. One sturdy robot. I must say that I freaking loved this story. I really did. I really did. It's been so interesting. Oh. Oops. You guys, this is... Is it the fifth or sixth time? We need to keep it down. Try to keep it down. And then when the barriers are up, I need to be shooting. 
when, when it does that flying thingy, when the barriers are up, like shields. I really, really, really need this to help Lily. gonna do if I, if I'm not able to save Lily I think I'm gonna just have to replay the entire game I'm gonna actually have to check if you can save her because I cannot lose her heck no as for Adam I don't think we have a choice Ouch. It does such devastating attacks. But so does he. And I love this outfit. It's going way better than before. And we do the hurricane because it kind of stun locks him. <laughs> I have tacky in spirit too. something quick oh gosh well wait I do have a BB pump so we're kind of okay <laughs> oh, I did it first time I actually did it wait no I could have retribution I was too quick there Oh, we are so close. Never been this close, have I? Focus, focus. Lily. Please be able to get out. <laughs> Act. Eve! I found a way! Yes? There's a hacking code on Ibris's memory stick. Oh my gosh! Ibris helped! Basically! <laughs> get the frick away from my sister! Wait, does that mean that if we didn't get the stick? Lily, hide yourself! If we would have said no to going to Idols 9? I think we didn't miss that opportunity. Ooh. Okay, now I can breathe again. You done for, mister. You done for. Now, there's nothing stopping us. Nothing at all. Oh. Whoa! And our sword just got cooler. We still have the crown though. Oh my god. These are tankies! Hey, I have a timer 
are on me. Oh my god. Ooh, you're not gonna get up. I'm gonna hurricane you to death. Right. We did the right choice. Eve! I thought I'd be left alone. Never! She already lost Iberis, and she thought she would lose Eve. Oh. Same with, oh, with I'm Eve. Sorry, I'm just... I'm still not used to the new look. Pretty, huh? Still, I'll get used to it one day, right? You will. Yes, Lily. I'm sure you will. She took it well, Lily. Oh, too many things happened today. Thank you, Iberis. Memory stick. <laughs> yes. And even more awaits us. Let's return to the tetrapod. <laughs> Without Adam. Well, we fused, so basically we're one. <laughs> oh, the music. A starry night. Starlight, twinkling, reflecting on satellites. Who are you? Predicting the future. It's like trying to find one single star in the endless sky. Mother. I serve the future of mankind. Though whether that future would embrace me, I, I cannot say. But for the sake of father, I refuse to give up. The one who gave birth to me, taught me, the one who's no more. Yes, I must confirm if you are, in fact, that future. Mother, Sphere. Nice to meet you, Eve and Lily. You have more Ominous. than met my expectations. The final decision was a bit disappointing, yes. But thank you. What are you... What are you talking about? This concludes the EVE protocol. Attacking everyone now? Is Mother Sphere and everyone coming down here? Then farewell. Oh! Wait! Ominous. We have questions! We do, but also. Ominous! What is gonna happen? Am I too quick to call Ominous? Oh no! Oh my god, shield Lily! Lily, 
stay back. Run, Lily, run! What is happening? Oh, angels. Oh! Oh, we're gonna get attacked! They look hella cool. So this is your plan. Then I'll gladly play my part. Oh, we're gonna destroy them! Now, come, my comrades. Oh. Wait, I get to play? Okay, woohoo! <laughs> Fun! <laughs> We, we can't die, can we? I don't see my health, so... <laughs> That's good. Oh, wait. Everything was planned according to the EVE protocol. <laughs> Lily was trapped in Idols 9 with her sister in arm. We, that we have um, equipped with the Providence, the Colonist Combat Exosuit. Lily enters the final battle with EVE. What does Lily's fate have in store for her? Anything more? No? That's it, and we already read this about um, Adam being Raphael Marx. Yeah, so Mother Sphere just wanna retake Earth now. Uh, and this Eve protocol. And Mother Sphere was the last character, so we all we, we got all 18 characters. Oh my gosh. You guys, the game cannot end like this. If this is the end of the game, we have to have a sequel. We have to have a sequel. Oh my gosh. Everything was planned. <gasps> of course. I wanted to read about it. Okay then. The cutest. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> this is so cool. <laughs> what if these are like? Oh, from the new protocol. <laughs> Uh, didn't think Mother Sphere would end up looking like a kid. I don't want to fight a kid in that. <laughs> Even though she might not be a kid, but just looking at it like a kid, that's gonna be tough. I don't want to off a kid. Now what? Now what? <laughs> the best. Come take him. Oh my god, you are a genius! Shift <sighs> Up is coming, Western Studios. <laughs> They're coming strong with this game. Oh my gosh. Incredible game. Like I am, I am still in awe. Like I'm a bit, like awestruck to the point where I don't, I don't even know what, what to say. I'm just so happy that the game finally got released. I was a bit afraid that. It would get like pushed further and further and further and then like some studios where people like drop off and then there's just like no project or this wouldn't have been this amazing if it wasn't for Mr. Kim. The entire studio has made an absolutely, absolutely amazing effort with this game. But without Kim, I don't, I don't think it would have had this kind of potential. I don't even know if there is another like Korean game that I know of that will 
make such an impact like Stellar Blade has. It, ha it will really be this game. Art Director! <laughs> oh my god, I just love him so much, you guys. I have... Do I have three or four art books? Yeah, I might show them on time. <laughs> Oh my god, what, what was I even talking about? I got distracted because I saw his name. This will be like... You know when you say... Uh, BC? Like before something. Like before Christ. It will be like... After Stellar Blade. Because it's done such an impact. I think that um, Korean studios will probably look up to this game and be like, aha, uh -huh, we should do something similar to Stellar Blade. Also do like a AAA platform game. And not just like mobile games and uh, MMORPGs, but single player games with this quality. If this game was this good, Imagine the sequel. It's gonna be. It's gonna be completely amazing. <laughs> oh my god, I love this game. This is a game I would play several times and also 100% platinum the game. I am not a person that platinums games. Because I'm usually just here for like the story, the character development. But the battle was so fun. The switching of fashion, I love it. And that makes me want to go back to it because it was so much fun. They really got that addictive combat system. <laughs> oh. <laughs> And all these amazing songs, and also this ending song, <laughs> love it. And the, the main characters were very realistic also. Like none of them were boring or like over the top. They just felt very human. Like you could know a person like Adam, maybe not. A scientist if you guys don't know what a really intelligent scientist that looks exactly like Adam hit me up ah and then we have Lily her character is also a very very realistically done uh, I, I I can I can imagine people feel that the characters might have been bland but that is only because these characters were very realistic. And once you get to know people, they usually open up much more. So that's actually what it felt like. Like we found these people and got to know them. So it felt very realistic. And they were very cohesive with uh, their personality. And uh, Lily... I was so afraid that she would turn on us like a little part of me was afraid that she would turn on us and be like no I, I, I can't abandon mother's fear so I'm so glad she's still with us and Adam is still with us in heart and soul <laughs> oh my gosh if only if only we could have had Adam left as well. I was waiting for that wedding. I was waiting for that romantic moment. Even though Eve doesn't really understand the concept of like having a crush or a love, um, that's something Beatrice, the crazy lady, you know, um, brought up and she was like, mm, love. definitely had a sisterly love towards Taki and towards Lily so we know that she does 
she can harbor those feelings. I don't know how how artificial those feelings are, but everything she showed us seemed so utterly human. Like her and her and Raven are so much alike, but they're also so different. It's like Raven was like Eve in the beginning. But then when Raven got to know more and more, she just got pushed to an extreme. And then when she found out that Eve was gonna be the savior, she went bananas because she felt replaced. And she felt... She felt very, like, stuck with Adam, a.k.a. Raphael Marx, a.k.a. Elder. Like, she wanted to be the one. And I think we can all kind of imagine how that would feel like if you can put yourself in her shoes. If you cannot comprehend that, you might turn a little bit, whoop, but you can also turn back. <laughs> so I was, I was really hoping for Raven to just, you know, join our girl squad. But if a sequel comes out, maybe, I mean, Raven wasn't completely dead, you know. She was alive, she witnessed everything. So, we just need to fix her body frame, her fibers and stuff like that, right? So, yeah. oh, oh, she, she needs therapy, <laughs> right. Do we have a uh, therapist Androidos? If not, mm, I can volunteer, I can volunteer. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> But this ending really, really set up for a sequel. Definitely did. Oh, now I'm wondering, like, what, what, what would have happened if I didn't take Adam's hand? What would have happened then? I would have probably, most likely, fought Adam. I can't fight Adam. He's my husband, like why? No, no. Would he be in his, his regular form or like a different, probably a different form. It feels like he would look more like the one in outer space, maybe something like huge. So he would switch completely, maybe. Hmm. Ah, ah. I, I need to I need to replay the game I'm also gonna have to like check how many endings there are but I'm gonna check with my friend if she can check how many endings there are so I don't get spoiled if I search it up because probably will get spoiled if I search it up um so I don't know which ending this is. This one felt good, like the good ending. I mean, we have Lily. We did what Adam wanted us to do. We... It felt like the right choice, definitely. Like, like a true ending. That's what it felt like. Um, going against Adam, what would have happened to Lily? What would Mother's Fair have done? That would have just made us show that we sided with Mother's Fair, right? Hmm. Oh well. I am gonna have my eyes on this game. On news about this game. Oh. I'm hoping for, like, DLCs, extra content, sequel, please, 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 please. <laughs> no, they cannot leave the game like this. <laughs> if I have to wait 10 years, 
I will wait 10 years. I am so pleased with this game. So pleased. And from the first trailer that I've watched, I'm, I'm so glad that they that they switched up Eve's character design to a more like, what should I say, more like realistic. The first one looked really good as well. Uh, it had more like a Magna Carta kind of feel to it. It was definitely Mr. Kim's uh, art style and that's what I like about it. But she fe feels more mature now and I kind of like that more. Like in the first trailer, she looked a little bit more like Lily, if you guys have seen it, Project Eve one. Um, she looked very much like Lily and more like childlike. And I like the feel of Eve as more like she had this more mature look, but she was also innocence which was kind of like childlike as well because she's learning how it is to be human like she was excited for cans uh, being at the atelier seeing seeing the bird like stuff like that when we were at matrix 11 when she saw the guitar the piano like the bottle of wine was it all of that she just seemed so intrigued, like fascinated, like a kid that asks a lot of questions. I like that. I would have been a little bit disappointed if they would have made her like this silent, stoic type. That would have been like, <sighs> we already got those, too many of those, it's not fun. So I really like that they made her kind of like this innocent, childlike um, personality, just the, the entire vibe. Like she's learning because she is an androidos. She is not human. But now, of course, I, 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 I call them human several times. And that's also what Raven said about them that they're human if they want to be human if they want to be called humans just let them be called humans <gasps> is there anything i didn't like about this game did i say anything about that throughout the game i don't think i did Usually I have something to say about like quests That they can feel repetitive and kind of like ugh, What was this quest for it doesn't really do anything to the world building like it was just something to collect this and that and then do this and that it wasn't grindy either <laughs> I, I really do not like grindy games <laughs> But you know, I've heard that Magna Carta, Tears of Blood, is probably going to be grindy. There's really not much information about it, but I, I, I bought it a long time ago. Uh, played like two hours, then my PS2 died. You know, the like disc reader laser <laughs> died. So <laughs> now I have the game. But I could create an ISO of it and play it on computer. Well, we'll see what I do. We'll see what I do. But I'm definitely gonna play it because the the character design is Mr. Kim's. So I'm not gonna say no to that. Definitely gonna play it. Mmm. I was talking about the quest. It felt like the quest gave us something all the time. Even like the short ones, the ones that we took from uh, from the billboard 
also felt like they had something to say. Like it felt like we learned something from it. Learned something more about the world that we're in. And also how it is to be human. Very interesting. What more? <laughs> oh my god, the outfits! <laughs> All the lovely outfits, you guys. I've had such a hard time. Whenever I quit playing, I'd be like, hmm, I wonder what I'm gonna wear the next time I play. Hmm, maybe that one or that one. Wait, I, I can't wear this one for too long because I don't know how long the game is. <laughs> And we probably, ah, probably missed a lot of outfits. Because I think they said something about there being, uh, what was it, like 70 or so nano suits? <laughs> I did not have that many. So I'm gonna definitely be replaying it and get everything. Then I'm actually gonna look up a guide, so I, I will get everything. Uh, but I'm gonna try to get all the endings. If we could just save, if we could just have one save, <laughs> well, at least two saves, because we do have one save, but it saves over. So, <laughs> well, then I could have checked what happens if I do not. Take Adam's hand. Oh, I'm so curious. I'm so curious. <laughs> but I'm not gonna look it up. I, I wanna see it for myself. Like, but then again, I don't wanna. I don't wanna fight my husband. <laughs> oh, he's gonna be so disappointed in me, too. Like, what if he says something? really hurtful or something that will make me like really sad like how why did you do that after all this time <laughs> like that one time that those times i saved you he saved us many times as a drone as well you know when we got attacked at first by raven then about those those folks at the backyard, back alley, in Zion, we got jumped. And our hero came to save us. Oh. Well, I didn't want to fight Lily either, but we, she was in the suit. So, she was technically safe. And I am so, so glad we got Iberis memory stick. Without it, we wouldn't have been able to save her, right? So if we would have been like, no, we can't take this detour. Like, who could have said no to that? I would have 100% just replayed the entire game if I knew that oh huh, we could hack the providence suit and save Lily of course like did you see what freaking cute relationship they had they were exactly like this they had this like sisterly bond I love it and the way when we were in space, when the Karakuri shot at the drone, and Eve was Eve was so worried, and that wasn't Lily's body, but she was so worried that she wouldn't be able to to contact Lily again because of the drone being like fired up. What is with this headset? there so I'm really glad that she survived yeah we still have the memory stick 
Taki's memory stick. We have Taki's memory stick, Ibris memory stick, so maybe we can do something with that in the sequel. Or if there's ever a DLC like that. Mm. Interesting. Mm. It's gonna be interesting to see what kind of news are out when these videos are out, because this is... We're in July. Well, this recording is. Uh, so, well, also to save me from getting spoiled. But I, I did, uh, I did promise that I would play Lightning Returns before, or more like upload it before. What is happening? Why is all the color drained? <gasps> she fought until morning. for you mother's fear please change yourself i don't want to fight a kid <laughs> yay it's so strange not seeing adam or orco here We have these guys. Yes. <laughs> In the midst of all that crew, there's a light from the future. All we know happens every time. And the truth is true. Hope is alive. Hope is alive. Maybe I only need a chance to survive. Not wait for the sequel. <gasps> the journey continues on. I, guys, I want an art book. Mr. Kim, if you're somehow watching this, please, Stellar Blade art book, please. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Like, I don't want to leave this game. <laughs> what will happen now? <gasps> New game plus unlocked. Oh, you know I will. New skills are added. <gasps> Upgrade enhancements added. Ooh. Hard mode unlocked. Start a new game to receive the Raven suit. We, we can get raven suit. Okay. <laughs> oh, look, the background. Matrix 11, where those candles were, the memorial place, and where Natiba Eve <laughs> and Enya is singing. Just like she said she would. And she looks 
happy. Are we mourning our husband? <gasps> Guys, I cannot believe that this is the end. But this is the end of the game. However, I will do another run and I will probably do the same, like record it. Uh, should do New Game Plus and Hard Mode. Mm, yeah. And we're gonna get all nano suits. But it will be um, some time before I can do that because I do have some games that I need to finish before. Mm. Right. So thank you all for watching. Bye bye.